Look, say neighbor, say neighbor, I'm glad you made it this morning. Hallelujah. You may have your seats. Amen. God is good. Amen. I don't know about you, but, but you need to be excited about your Christianity. Amen. Nobody's going to be excited for you. You need to be excited about your Christianity. You made a decision to serve God. You made a decision to call him Lord. I, I want to encourage you to be excited about your Christianity. Amen. Hallelujah. I bring you greetings from Bishop and Pastor EJ. They are currently in Suriname on a missionary trip. They are accompanied by two of their anointed attendants. Amen. And we trust God that even as they are across, well, the seas, that God will continue to have his hand of favor rest upon them. That his will and his purpose will be accomplished and established in their lives and, and in that trip. Amen. That people who need to be touched will be touched. Amen. Are you glad to be in God's house this morning? Did you come expecting a word this morning? You know what they say, right? If you have no expectation, I could come in this place and talk about sugar cane whole morning and you can't say nothing. Why? Because you didn't come with an expectation. But I trust that you came with an expectation. I trust you came with something that you want to get from God this morning. Amen. This is our year of divine flourishing. And we are in our month of growth. Could I see the hands of the individuals in the room who are concerned about growth? You want God's growth to just to take place in your life. You refuse to be the same. You want 2008 to be better than 2007. You want your tomorrow to be better than your today. That's the people who are concerned about growth. Because you know what? If you're not growing, newsflash, you're dying. If you're not growing, you're dying. So I don't know about you, but you need to be concerned about growth. Amen. And I'm so, I'm, 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 I mean, that, that song before was just so fitting. He has done great things talks about just, just the glory of God and we recognize that the glory of God talks about all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can do. But the glory of God could only go so far if we are not recognizing who we are, what we have, and what we can do, our talents and our giftings. But if we as individuals 
don't really care about growth. Today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow. If Tuesday fall on Sunday, if Sunday fall on Wednesday, everything is everything. Then we will have a very, very hard road to travel. But this is our month of growth, and we are in the year of divine flourishing. And I choose to believe that everyone in this room is concerned about growth. Amen. Everyone in the room is concerned about growth. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I was reading something somewhere, and, and they say that one of the major reasons why people don't succeed in life is because, well, actually, I'm going to give you some of the reasons why they, why, why, why they, they list that people do not succeed. They say people don't succeed not because of a lack of resources. They don't succeed. They don't succeed not because of a lack of money. They don't succeed not because of a, a lack of brain power. Most people don't succeed in life because of a lack of belief. They don't believe they can. They don't believe they can. You, you all know that nursery rhyme, the little train that, the little, the little train that could, that is, that is the little chugga, 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 the, the train that could. The point I'm trying to get across is this. I'm sure everybody within this room started this year, January 1, 2008, with a dream, with a goal, with some kind of objective. And one of the main reasons why people don't get to their goals is because of a lack of belief. If it is you don't believe that it is possible for that thing to be done, then you're already lost before you even started. Amen? Amen? But I choose to believe that people want 2008 to be better than 2007. So they are going to ensure that they put their belief, their whole heart into ensuring that things happen in their lives. Amen? I have a very simple title for this message. It's called Five Keys to a Positive Self-Perception. Five keys to a positive self-perception. And self-perception self -perception basically talks about how you see yourself. Do I see myself as a winner or do I, do I see myself as a loser? Do I see, see myself as somebody who's going to make it or do, or do I see myself as somebody who's just biding time? Do I see myself as somebody who God has called to be above or do I con continually call myself to be beneath? Do I constantly see myself as being the head or I am, am I plagued with being the tail? Five keys to a positive self-perception. Because you see those, this beautiful, nice, graphical representation of divine flourishing up on the wall here? And January talking about integrity. And February talking about insight. And March talking about growth. All those things would be a waste of time if you have a poor self-perception. If it is you don't believe that God is on your side, if it is you don't believe that you have the ability to do everything that God has placed you on this earth to do, if it is you don't believe it, that nice chart will be a waste of time. Amen? Open your Bibles. Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. We're going to look quickly. Chapter 23 and verses 7. The first part of verse 7, actually. That's not where, where I'm going this morning, but I just want to touch there before we go on. Proverbs 23 verse 7. When you find it, say amen. That's about four people. When you find it, say amen. Hallelujah. And it says this, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. A very common verse of scripture. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if within your heart you don't believe you're going to pass that exam, likelihood is you're going to fail that exam. If you believe within your heart that, you, that, that that business is not going to get off of the ground, the likelihood is that that, that that business is not going to get off of the ground. If you believe within your heart that this marriage has gone past repair, then most likely what is going to happen is that that marriage is going to go, go past repair. Because what? As a man, 